Good morning, everyone. Today I'm going to talk about God being our provider, uh, Jehovah Jireh. Well, first of all, I want to tell you about this guy called George Muller. Many people, many of you may have heard of him. Um, he was an evangelist, a missionary, and he also uh, started many orphanages. He was a man of faith and he absolutely believed that God was his provider. And uh, he did it in many dramatic ways. There were many dramatic accounts. Um, yes, he lived during the 19th century. And one startling account was uh, one day the orphans didn't have any breakfast, nothing to eat or drink. And he sat them all down and he said, God will provide. And uh, so he sat there and prayed and gave thanks. Next thing that happened, bang on the door. The baker came with loaves of bread and said, um, God has laid this on my heart to give you these. Do you need them? So he said, yeah, thank you very much. And the next thing, another bang on the door, a milkman came and said, oh, sorry, but my, my milk floats just broken down outside out of here. Could you do with some milk? So obviously there was a lot of praising of God for all of that. And every orphanage that he built, and he built quite a few, he just trusted God completely for the finances. He didn't even put out a, a request to people or in the paper or an ad or nothing. He just prayed and said, Father, I believe you will provide. So that's just fantastic. Um, all throughout the Bible, we can see that God provides for his people. All the way from Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve provided the food. Yes, they had to kind of work the garden, go out there and get it. It didn't just fall from the sky into their mouths. They had to work for it, but God provided it. And even after the fall, God provided their clothing. He didn't leave them just with fig leaves. He provided the clothing. Also, we have the Israelites in the wilderness. Again, 40 years, God providing bread, quail, water, and clothes and shoes that didn't wear out. Just an awesome level of provision, 40 years. And when Jesus came along, he taught us a lot about provision. And he also demonstrated it. So he, when he gave us the Lord's Prayer, he said, give us today our daily bread. He taught the disciples to, to pray in this way, believing and trusting that our Father would give us what we need every day. He also demonstrated provision with the feeding of the 5,000, the feeding of the 4,000. He was like you saying, here you are, God is our provider. He provides what we need. He also kind of demonstrated it when he sent out the disciples um, two by two. He said, take no provision with you, take nothing. Um, God will provide, basically. Your father trusted him. And so off they went. And he did obviously provide food, shelter, everything that they need. And there's a, and then there's an important teaching that Jesus taught us in Matthew chapter 6 about not to worry and trust God for all your provision. So let me read through some of that. So therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, <clears throat> and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your life? And then he goes on in verse 31 to say, so do not worry, saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. So here Jesus is saying, don't, as God's people, we're not to be like the pagans. We're not to be worrying about such things. Our Father knows that we need them. He will supply our every need and all that we, we need. And he's, he's saying, 
Seek the kingdom first. Put God in his kingdom first. Do what is right. And I believe God will always supply all our needs. So church, I hope that helps you. I hope that gives you some level of peace. Um, knowing that our Heavenly Father will provide all that we need and perhaps even just help you to say, okay, I don't need to worry about all those things. Let me just focus on God and focus on his kingdom and focus on what he wants me to do. So bless you. I pray the Lord keeps you safe and I hope to see you again soon. Goodbye.